Let's transition back to the NFL and let's talk about the wise guys question of the day. It's a simple one. Which quarterback are you currently taking, Lamar Jackson or Jalen Hurts? Now, the reason why this is a question on the show this afternoon is because there was a picture going around the internet yesterday. Start, bench, or cut. Y'all know how that works. You want to start a player, you want to bench him, or you want to cut him. The three players that were in the picture were Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts, and Justin Fields. So I looked at everyone and their start, bench, or cut between those three. And obviously, you're going to cut Justin Fields. He hasn't proven himself nowhere near as what Lamar Jackson and Jalen Hurts has done so far in their respective careers. And the other one was interesting to me, though, with your start and your bench. And I also posted the Wise Guys question of the day on the Wise Guys Facebook and the my personal page as well. And I saw a lot of votes for Jalen Hurts. I saw a lot of votes for Jalen Hurts. And so I started thinking to myself, damn. Is it is it that lopsided to where people believe that Jalen Hurts is better than Lamar Jackson is? Like I'm like I'm looking at the results and even on my Twitter page when you the question Lamar Jackson or Jalen Hurts Jalen Hurts won. He won in the voting poll. He he won. And so I'm just thinking like wow, I was shocked. I was surprised. And so, when it comes to which quarterback am I taking between Lamar Jackson and Jalen Hurts, I'm going to make a case for my reasons why I'm taking Lamar Jackson over Jalen Hurts. Let's start off with the number one and obvious reason why Lamar Jackson is better currently than Jalen Hurts is. And, and I want to say this, I have a lot of respect for Jalen Hurts. I really, really do. He was a great player last year for the Philadelphia Eagles. He was an MVP candidate the entire season before he got injured. He had his best season last year of his career. But right now, Lamar Jackson is better than Jalen Hurts is. So let me give y'all my reasons why I believe that Lamar is better than Jalen Hurts. The number one reason why Lamar Jackson is better than Jalen Hurts is their supporting cast. Jalen Hurts has multiple, multiple weapons to distribute the football to in that Eagles offense. He got A.J. Brown. He got Devontae Smith. Okay. He got Dallas Goddard as well. What weapons has Lamar Jackson had to throw the ball to over the last few years? Somebody tell me. Mark Andrews? Mark Andrews is one of the best tight ends in the NFL. But what receiver was Lamar Jackson previously throwing the football to that was on the level of a Devontae Smith or an A.J. Brown? And for me, when I look at elite quarterbacks, Joe Burrow has Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. Josh Allen has Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis. Patrick Mahomes previously had Tyreek Hill, and he still has Travis Kelsey. Justin Herbert has Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. Hell, Aaron Rodgers, before Devontae Adams left, Oh, for Las Vegas, Aaron Rodgers had Devontae Adams. What reliable receiver has Lamar Jackson had to rely on since he's been in the NFL? You can make a legitimate argument that Odell Beckham, who signed with the Ravens in free agency, is the best receiver. And Odell Beckham, who's not in his prime anymore, is the best receiver that Lamar Jackson 
has ever thrown the football to. Period. Period. Point blank. Like, I feel like Jalen Hurts has a better supporting cast than Lamar Jackson has. Also, let's look at accomplishments, shall we? This is Lamar Jackson. He won NFL MVP in 2019. First team all pro in 19. Two-time Pro Bowl quarterback. NFL passing touchdowns leader in 2019. And this is his career stats. This is Lamar Jackson. This is his passing stats because we know Lamar Jackson is not only great throwing the football, but he's dynamic also running the football. But let's start off with his passing stats. Lamar Jackson for his career, 101 touchdowns, 38 interceptions, 12,209 passing yards. He's completed 64% of his passes. Let's go to Jalen Hurts and his statistics from a career standpoint. Now, Lamar Jackson's been in the NFL longer than Jalen Hurts, okay? I'm going to let that be known. Jalen Hurts has only been in the NFL for three years. But so far in his career, I like his stats. They're respectable. 44 touchdowns, 19 interceptions, 7,906 passing yards, completing 62% of his passes. But last year, before we before the season, I remember there were some Eagles fans and people around the NFL who questioned whether or not the Eagles had a franchise quarterback. There was legitimate questions out of Philadelphia about whether or not Jalen Hurts is the future franchise quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles moving forward. There has never been a question in Buff Baltimore about whether or not Lamar Jackson is the franchise quarterback moving forward. It's never been a question from a talent standpoint. Now, if you want to talk about his injuries and durability, fair, fair enough. But from a talent perspective and overall ability, we've never question Lamar Jackson because I believe also Lamar Jackson last year he was a better pocket passer than he was in prior years I feel like he was a better pocket passer last year we're not giving him enough credit no he's not Patrick Mahomes no he's not Joe Burrow no he's not Justin Herbert or Trevor Lawrence but Lamar Jackson is a solid pocket passer so let's not I hate when people pretend like only thing Lamar Jackson can do is run the football and make plays with his legs but even if you want to talk about that let's go down that statistical lane this is Lamar Jackson since he's been in the NFL he had 727 carries 4,437 rushing yards 24 touchdowns for his career. Now, Jalen Hurts is a mobile quarterback as well. So let's, let's look at his stats over the last three years from a rushing standpoint. Jalen Hurts has 367 carries, 1,898 rushing yards, 26 touchdowns. But I believe that Lamar Jackson is a more dynamic player at the quarterback position running the football than Jalen Hurts is. Jalen Hurts can make plays with his legs, but Lamar Jackson puts fear in opposing team defenses who have to go up against him week in and week out. I, I don't feel like Jalen Hurts puts fear in opposing defenses the way that Lamar Jackson puts fear in opposing defenses when they go up against him. And so you look at their playoff record, because that's what everybody's talking about, who is picking Jalen Hurts over Lamar Jackson. This is Lamar Jackson's playoff record and statistics. Lamar Jackson, he hasn't played well in the playoffs. He's one and three. The only win that he had in the playoffs came against 
Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. In the playoffs, he struggled. Three touchdowns, five interceptions, 900 passing yards. He completed 56% of his passes. Now, let's look at Jalen Hurts in the playoffs. Now, Jalen Hurts only been in the playoffs one year. One year, this was, this was his prior year. And obviously, they won two games in the NFC, and they got to the Super Bowl. This year in the postseason, J Jalen Hurts. Well, actually, he had Jalen Hurts did have the one year in the playoffs against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They got beat in the wild card round, so they didn't even win the game. So in 2021, he was also in the playoffs, but they only they were a first round exit. But this is Jalen Hurts in the playoffs so far in his career. Four touchdowns, two interceptions, completing 62 percent of his passes. So not great, not great, but he has better statistical numbers than. Lamar Jackson has so far in the playoffs. But this is what I feel like. This is what I'm saying. I say that to say, yes, Jalen Hurts had a great season last year. I mean, Jalen Hurts was sensational last year. Jalen Hurts, to me, was a legit NFL MVP candidate last season. And if he didn't get injured, he possibly could have won NFL MVP. But in three years, he's had one great season and two other years where we had questions about whether or not the Philadelphia Eagles had a franchise quarterback who they could build their team around. So one great year from Jalen Hurts is better than five great years from Lamar Jackson. I mean, Lamar Jackson, since he's been in the NFL, has produced at a high level. His rookie year, the only played in, we played in 16 games, but he only had six touchdowns, three interceptions. But how can you say Jalen Hurts is better than Lamar Jackson is off of one year? One year. Now, also, let's talk about Jalen Hurts and his competition last year because the Philadelphia Eagles, they were the number one seed in the NFC last year. Number one seed. Let's look at the quarterbacks that Jalen Hurts went up against last year during the regular season. Week one, Jared Goff. Week two, Kirk Cousins. I mean, you look, Trevor Lawrence is pretty good. Kyler Murray, October 9th, I'm not, I, I think Kyler Murray was still playing. I know he got injured last year, but Dak Prescott is probably the, Aaron Rodgers, they played the Packers during the season last year. They played the Colts, Commanders, Titans, Bears. I mean, like what competition did Jalen Hurts really face last year when it comes to opposing quarterbacks? Last year, Lamar Jackson went up against Joe Burrow. Now, I don't know if he played Joe Burrow the second time because the second time he was injured. But he went up against Joe Burrow last year. He went up against Trevor Lawrence last year as well. He went up against Josh Allen last year. So Lamar Jackson, he didn't have the season that Jalen Hurts had last year, but Lamar Jackson faced significant and stiffer competition than Jalen Hurts faced. He faced tougher competition. So again, based on one year, I'm not going to say that Jalen Hurts is better than Lamar Jackson is. I'm not there yet. I have to see more. I have to see more. How am I? I'm, I'm, I'm tweaking hell. The first year, he wasn't even the full-time starter. The second year, he had an entire rookie coaching staff. I know the first year, he wasn't a full-time starter. I know. But I'm saying Lamar Jackson is more proven than Jalen Hurts is. I just gave y'all the reasons why. A- Jalen Hurts has a better supporting cast than Lamar Jackson has. B, Lamar Jackson is a better runner with the football than Jalen Hurts is overall. I fear Lamar Jackson more than Jalen Hurts if I'm an opposing defense going up against either two of the quarterbacks. So, again, Lamar also has the accomplishments. He had an MVP in 2019, 
that makes him better than Jalen Hurts currently is. I'm not taking nothing away from Jalen Hurts. He has a tremendous, tremendous future ahead of him. He deserved every bit of that money that he just received with his new contract. But to say that he's already better than a former NFL MVP and a player who is the face of the Baltimore Ravens franchise, I'm not ready to go there just yet. I have to see more from Jalen Hurts, and I have to see more from the Philadelphia Eagles as we head into this season. Lamar ain't proved one playoff win. What's the goal when building a roster and MVP award? The cam is better, too. Hey, I'm not, I'm not saying it's just about MVPs, but I, I just feel like Lamar has done more with less. I think, I'm going to be honest, I have, again, before I move on, I have a, a certain, I have a soft spot for Lamar when it comes to quarterbacks and elite quarterbacks because I feel like other elite quarterbacks have had elite weapons around them. Again, Burrow has Chase. Mahomes had Hill and Kelsey. Josh Allen has Stephon Diggs. Hurts has Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. He even got a dynamic running game. Ravens got a pretty solid running game as well. But I, I also, too, another thing. Hurts has a coach who's an offensive head coach. Like, John Harbaugh, he, he's not an offensive head coach. But Nick Sirianni is an offensive head coach. John Harbaugh is a defensive head coach. He loves his defense. Nick Sirianni is an offensive head coach. That's another advantage that Jalen Hurts has over Lamar Jackson. But I still think Lamar is a better player. That's just me. Go on the Wise Guys Twitter page. We can finish, we can finish this debate another time. I love to bring on Dylan because he, he's emphatic about this. My man Dylan, I love him, but he's emphatic. He feels like Lamar is nowhere in the stratosphere at, as Jalen Hurts is. Is that, is that how you feel, Dylan? You don't, do you even think that Lamar is on the same level as Jalen Hurts? Mahomes just won with the same offense Lamar has, a dog tight end and some average wide receivers. Lamar even had a better running game than Mahomes had last year. I get it. I respect, I respect it. I definitely get it. But if it's me, I'm taking Lamar Jackson over Jalen Hurts.